presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, the soldiers of the Blue Magic Army, angered when Flash Gordon threw generals all over the balcony, threatened a rebellion. Immediately, Flash ordered Azura to quiet the soldiers by assuring them that if the army would pledge their loyalty, they would find him a just and kind ruler. Azura repeated his words, and the soldiers responded with a cheer. A short time later, Dr. Zarkov captured the guard in charge of the Queen's paralyzing gas flow, bringing a dozen of them with him to keep on hand as a means of defense. While this was going on, Tal plotted to release Azura and recapture the ex-prisoners. He sent Grom, chief of ordnance, to find out where the queen was being kept and how she was being guarded. Later that night, Tal and some of the other officers, led by Grom and equipped with gas masks, overpowered the Hawkmen guards with sleep gas. Making their way to the private quarters of the queen, they overpowered Khan, her guard, and then carried the sleeping queen to safety. Then Tal gave the order to find Flash Gordon and kill him. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Hooded with gas masks and armed with sleep gas rifles, the blue-robed figures steal silently through the halls of the palace, looking for Flash Gordon. Well, Grum, which apartment is he in? I'm not sure, General Tall. Not sure, not sure. But I told you to be sure to find out where the enemy was sleeping. I tried to, General. Mm. I followed the scientist fellow down this corridor, and he saw me and ordered me back. Didn't you see him enter any room? No, General Tall. He stood and waited until I left the corridor. You're sure it was this north corridor he went down? I'll take my oath on it, General. Very well, let us proceed. But keep a sharp lookout for any signs of that self-styled king. I will, General. General. Eh? What's the matter now, Grum? Listen. Flash Gordon and the scientist fellow are coming this way. Quickly, men. Through this archway. We'll see where they go. I think we'd better do it soon. Do you agree with me, Zarka? Absolutely. You have great foresight, Flash. When I have the laboratory at my disposal, I will get it. Come, come, men. Follow them. There they go. In that apartment down there. Yes, yes. Forward, men. What's that, General Tall? Curses. says we set off some sort of alarm. What shall we do? Do? What is there to do but go on and attack Flash Gordon? Forward, men. Death to the invaders. Time Dale Arden, wishing to make sure that Azuri isn't faking a loss of memory, steals out of her room and makes her way to the Witch Queen's quarters. There she finds the door open and Khan drowsily recovering from the effects of the sleep gas. Khan! Khan, answer me! What? Where is Azura? What? Who? Khan, what's the matter? Have they drugged you? Sleepy. So sleepy. Oh, well, Khan, why did you fall asleep and let Azura escape? What's that? What did you say? Khan, listen to me. Listen. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Hear you. Can you understand what I'm saying? Understand. Yes. Khan, listen carefully. Azura is not in her room. Azura has escaped. What? Escaped. No. I left her in there. Haven't left doorway all night. Who are you? This is Dale. Dale Arden. Dale Arden. Princess Dale? Sleepy. Oh, excuse me. I... Hard to wake up, but... They've done something to you. Oh, what shall I do? I remember. Exercise. Come, Con. We're going to walk yourself awake. Yes. Walk. Awake, huh? Get up. Uh, oh. Here. I'll help you. Uh. Come on. That's it. Uh. Now then, lean on me. That's right. Uh. Now, walk. Walk. Why did you sleep so soundly? 
Did you have anything to drink? No, nothing to drink. Anything to eat? No, nothing to eat. When Azura retired, I lay down across the door. So she couldn't get by me. Then some of those devils must have given you sleep gas. Sleep gas? Ah, uh, maybe that's why I can't get awake. Oh, I've never had such a time waking up. That's just what they must have done. And then while you were under its influence, they went in and took Azura away. Took Azura away? What do you mean? Oh, I beg your pardon, Princess. I didn't mean to speak so sharply. That's all right, Tom. How do you feel now? I'm almost awake now, Princess. A little foggy, but that's rapidly going away. Good. Now, what did you say about Azura being taken away? I said while you were under the influence of sleep gas, they must have gone in and taken Azura away. Oh. I came here and found the door open and the witch queen gone. Gone? And I swore to guard her with my life. I said they'd get to her only over my dead body. Oh, fool that I am. You mustn't blame yourself, Con. It wasn't your fault. They got her only over your almost dead body, which is dead with sleep. You're letting me down easily, Princess Dale. Thank you. But she escaped from my charge. It's up to me to find her and see that she doesn't get away again. You ought to be able to do that, Con. They can't have taken her very far off. True. At least not out of the palace. They'd probably put her in some other room until they can sneak outside with her. You may be right, Princess. It sounds logical. I'd better start searching. I can't do any good here. No, you can't. We have a saying back on Earth. It's no good locking the barn door after the horse has been stolen. Oh, very good. I like that. But I don't think the queen would like to be called a horse. You're right. She wouldn't. I'll go and look for Azura. You'd better warn King Flash and Zarkov that she's gone. I will. But I'm sure you'll find her, Tom. Thank you, Princess. I give you my word. I can't stop searching until I do find her. Inside Flash Gordon's apartment, our hero and Dr. Zarkov stand listening to the alarm bell and the pounding on the door. Open the door! Well, Dr. Zarkov, your detector ray alarm worked all right. Yes, but why aren't the Hawkman guard responding? They should have arrived by now and captured those rebels out there. They must be on their way. Perhaps they ran into another group of revolutionists. Perhaps, but I do not think so. It is more than likely those men out there overpowered the guards before coming here. Ah, they stopped pounding on the door. What are they planning to do? I don't know, but I know what I'm going to do. Open the door suddenly, Zarkov, and I'll hurl this paralyzing gas glow. The very thing, lad. Ready now. Unbolt the door. Open it. Now, throw the glow. Here it goes. I got one of them, Zarkov. Good. But the gas had no effect on the other. No wonder, didn't you see? They wear gas masks. Lad, we are in a tough spot. The rebels pick up their dead comrade and retreat to a nearby alcove to plan their next move. Oh, poor Grum. It's too bad they killed him. I had great plans for him after we regained control of the kingdom. It's to Grum we owe our queen's freedom. Yes, he deserves a hero's funeral. See that it is given to him. Yes, General Paul. Grum shall be buried with full military honors. Uh, we must capture those ex-prisoners. But how are we going to be able to do it? They have those paralyzing gas globes, and they may have other weapons stored in that room. That's right, General Paul. Uh, let me see. Uh, here, here, you know this part of the palace. Uh, are there any other doors leading to that apartment which we could break in while the rotation is fixed on that one? No, General. That is the only door to the apartment. Well, there must be a window in it. Couldn't we climb in by the window and surprise them from the back? That is impossible, General. Impossible? Why is it impossible? The window opens onto a cliff with a straight drop of great distance. It ends on jagged rock. The surface is almost smooth. It would be useless to try to climb up from the rock there are no footholds. Then they cannot escape that way. Mm. Men, men, we have them in a trap. What is our next move, General? What is that door made of? Can it be broken down with a battering ram? No, General. Mm. That is a special metal door which the Queen had built so she could make that apartment a treasury. 
It is of tremendous thickness. Oh, those invaders weren't any fools when they picked it for their stronghold. But there must be some way to get at them. Why can't we let ourselves down from the roof on a scaffolding and get in through that window? We could, but for the fact that there is a tower built over that apartment, General. There is no way to suspend a scaffold a distance from the top of the tower to the window. Oh, sure says, why couldn't they have picked some other tweet? I have an idea, General. Well, well, what is it? It may not be much good, but I was thinking we could capture Flash Gordon and his companions if we could cut through that door or melt it down. The very thing, the very thing. Comrade, you have solved the problem. Remind me to have you made a brigadier general tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, General Tall. Then, get us into this arbor ray gun at once. We shall lay siege to that door and melt it down. Meanwhile, as Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkov stand wondering what the Blue Magic Rebels are up to, there comes a knock on the door. What's this, a trick? That's Kuwiti. Who's there? Daryl, let me in, Flash. Hey, oh, good heavens, just a minute. Harold, Harold. Come in quickly. Oh, Flash. Good heavens, Dave. I thought you were in your room back there, sound asleep. No, I... But never mind that. Azora has been set free. What are you saying? Set free? Why, I told Khan to guard her It wasn't his fault. They gave him sleep gas or something, and then went in and carried Azora away. I found Khan just recovering. Oh, well, where is he now? He's searching for Azora. I said I'd come and tell you. Come on, Zarkov. We'll have to look for her, too. And we can see what's happened to our Hawkman guards. Look out, Flash. The rebels are returning. Shut that door, lad, quickly. What were those men carrying? I don't know. Some sort of a machine gun. But this is a specially constructed door. They'll never be able to break it down. Now, don't you worry, Dale. It is queer we do not hear anything out there. Why don't they fire at the door if they have a machine gun? I don't know. Silence is puzzling. We're barricaded, all right. But it isn't going to do us much good. Doesn't look like it. These gas globes are useless against them. What are we going to do? Nothing just now. We can't do anything. The next move is from the rebels. I don't hear them moving around. Perhaps they have laid siege to the door and are waiting for us to open it. <laughs> then they've got a long way. Can't we get off the back way? There is no back way but the window. And that looks out on a cliff that drops straight down. I don't know how far. <laughs> look! Look! The door is melting! Ah, that's why we didn't hear anything. They've got a Gisalvo gun trained on it. Come, lad. Come, Dale. Our gas globes don't stop those rebels. And we're cut off from our own soldiers. The window is our only chance. But you said it was a straight drop. You didn't know how far. There's a vine running down the side of the cliff. We can climb down that. Get a cloak, Dale. I'll save you even if I can't save our kingdom. As Flash and Dale and Zarkov start their perilous flight, the law awaits a horrible death on the jagged rocks. And above, the same fate from the burning rays of the magic men. What is going to happen to them? These amazing adventures are graphically portrayed in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big full-page picture supplement distributed next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Don't miss the Comic Weekly next Sunday. For in addition to Flash Gordon, you will find many other favorite characters of fun and adventure waiting to entertain you. And don't forget our date at this same time next week for the next chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.